Question 25. Uh, fairly long-winded, but, but not impossible. So um, our goal is to end up by working out what BC is, that length there. So this is the way I did it. There may be other ways. I've started off by working out P BQ by way of Pythagoras. BQ squared equals 5 squared plus 6 squared. So BQ is root 61. I've then looked at this triangle BQP, uh, knowing that I now know the um, adjacent side, and I've worked out the hypotenuse of that by using cos 30 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, so um, allowing me to work out that BP is 9.01 dot dot dot. So I now know this length here. Now, um, I'm going to really want to be using triangle BCP. I now know the hypotenuse, but I really need to know this angle here, which I've called alpha, angle CBP. So how to do that? Well, I've started off by working out this angle back here and this triangle here. So back to this triangle, I'm saying that, uh, calling this, um, uh, what's this, theta is it? I think it's theta. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent is 6 over 5. So tan theta is 6 over 5, so theta equals inverse tan 6 over 5, which is 50.1944, dot, dot, dot. So that's at this angle here. Now, given this is a right angle, I can now work out, uh, out alpha to be 90 minus theta, which I've just worked out to be 50.19, less the 30. So alpha is 9.80557, dot, dot, dot. So now I'm fully armed to work out what BC is. I know the angle. I know the hypotenuse. I want the adjacent. So cos 9.80557 equals BC over 9.018. Multiply both sides by 9.018. I get BC being cos 9.80557 times 9.018, which is 8.886, rounding to 8.89.